Meanwhile, in Ukraine, Russia is raining missiles. The target is the city of Bakhmut. It is coming under an intense assault. Ukraine remains defiant. President Zelensky has made a declaration. He has refused to give up on any territory for a peace deal. Experts say neither side can continue in this fashion for very long. They can certainly not keep on fighting because the world doesn't have the ammo to sustain this war. A report says the global war machine is running out of ammunition. Here's more. The missiles are flying from all directions. Ukraine soldiers are at the receiving end. They have made an appeal from the front lines. Give us more military equipment, more weapons, and we will deal with the Russian occupier. We will destroy them. Together to victory, Ukraine is united and whole. Glory to Ukraine, glory to heroes. Russia has mobilized its full force for this offensive. Russian forces fired missiles from land, sea and air. Ukraine says there were almost three dozen of them. They targeted warships, power stations and industrial complexes. With the war set to complete one year, Russia is trying to build momentum on the battlefield. They have boosted their ranks. With 300,000 conscripts joining the front lines, Russia is ready to make another push. Zelensky says the priority now is to hold off the Russian troops. Today I had a meeting at headquarters and all the commanders of the operational areas took part in it. We heard in detail about the situation in each of the areas and the prospects for each of the operational areas. Weapon supplies, ammunition supplies, training of our military, enemy planes and capabilities, potential of the Ukrainian response, holding the situation at the front and preparing for any escalatory steps of enemy is a priority for the near future. Zelensky is banking on the West. He has ruled out any peace deal with Moscow, especially if it involves giving up territory. Zelensky believes any compromise with Russia will make Ukraine weaker. But for how long can they sustain the fighting? Already, crucial deliveries are running late. Last month, several Western nations promised tanks to Ukraine. The commitment was for over 300 tanks. But Kiev has not received even one of them. Reports say the deliveries might take several weeks, if not months. This delay could be dangerous for Ukraine. Russia could be planning a big attack, and there are growing suspicions that an ally could join the fight. Belarus. Russian forces use Belarus as a staging ground. Will Minsk send troops into Ukraine too? For now, President Alexander Lukashenko is ruling out an armed intervention. We are peaceful people. We know what war is. We do not want war. There's no way we are planning to send our troops into Ukraine unless you show aggression to Belarus from there. That's all. That's my reply, given a long time ago, and I still stand by it. Either way, Ukraine finds itself in a tight spot. Reports say Ukraine's armed forces are low on ammunition. The stocks are rapidly depleting and the troops on the ground are forced to ration supplies. They now only shoot when they can see the enemy. The Russians are using up their ammunition too. But Russia has the manufacturing capacity to support a more aggressive offensive. Before the war, the Russian defense industry could make more than a million shells in a year. The Ukrainians are nowhere close. They're waiting for help from the West and time is not on their side.